So I found another plasma fire tree here, these black strips going up and the patches there and some spots down there. So I'm going to show you those and then show you that all these other trees, they're all dead. You can see a little bit of green on this one, but that green has probably grown in since it died. I've showed videos before. We'll look at this first. Notice how fine the line is between burn and unburn, completely charcoal on the right and uh, completely unburned over here on the left. And the line is thinner than my fingernail. All the way up, it never varies. It curves like here, where it'll curve, but it's still just as fine of a line between complete charcoal What you'll see instead of a line that kind of fades from hot to cold is it'll spark out on, you see that little tiny piece of charcoal right there with unburned wood all around it? That's part of studying this phenomenon is coming to notice the, the minor details like that. That indicates to us what it is. How could it be completely unburned between the charcoals? Electricity coming from below, reaching up, and one of the fingertips of electricity, the filaments, popped through right there, outside of the main burn. So rather than seeing it go from highly burned to unburned, gradually, if there's an overflow, that's what it looks like. That small piece of unburned area between the two areas of charcoal says a lot. But that's the kind of research we never got into because there is no public awareness campaign, you know, like for breast cancer and all that. Okay, I'll shut up and we'll look at some more of the burn splotches. <clears throat> this long strip of unburned in between the two, this is what I mean when I say that you can see it's electricity. The burn line that curves back and forth right here and then goes up and down and over and around, comes back down like that. All of that whole area of that line does the same exact thing from burned to unburned in a millimeter, the width of a, uh, my fingernail. And this pattern right here proves it's electricity. I don't need to put it into words very much for you. I think once you get the idea in your head that, hey, this could be electricity, you can look at that and see it. Oh yeah, totally. And everywhere, without fail, the fine burn line, fire doesn't do that. Fire doesn't do a strip of burn going up with unburned on both sides, like it's a bolt of lightning making its way through the tree. And once you understand that concept and just get it in your mind, you don't even need to understand it. There's the same pattern repeated. A small piece of unburned wood between the main burn between the main burn here and the overflow spot right here where a secondary filament came up and reached out and burned through the surface right there. And you have the same strip of unburned wood between the main burn area on the left and the secondary burn area on the right. The fact that I can show you that pattern within three minutes and 30 seconds of starting this video, that repeated pattern that we saw Right here, it's only been three minutes. I know your attention span is that long. I don't mean to insult you by repeating. But that's a great example of what I mean when I say burn signatures, the pattern it leaves behind. And that pattern tells us it's, it's electricity. Because these burn spots are like where the, the curving bolt of lightning goes through the tree and it surfaces like a dolphin or a whale cresting coming up out of the water. That's what that is. While the main lightning bolt is going here, it's got a secondary filament reaching over and poking through right there. Whoa. I'm gonna hurt myself if I'm not careful. So here you can see a, a lightning bolt came up through here and one over there that's got unburned on both sides. One, one lightning bolt came up through here, one right here,
and then another one over here and that's a different pattern right here it's the same pattern repeated three times the lightning bolt streak going up through the tree with unburned on both sides the lightning bolt streak going up through the tree with unburned on both sides and for a third time right here so this tree's been a, a gold mine of information because we can now see that there's a lightning bolt stream going here a plasma filament you might say one going right here and another one going right there I'm digging it are you digging it so now let's check out the fact that all the other trees are dead they're falling over a lot of them are just split right down the middle uh, I might be speaking too soon on some of these but there sure is a lot of dead ones and my point was that they die from the plasma even if you can't see a spot where the electricity is breaking through the surface of the wood it's still killing the rest of the tree and one thing that I've noticed and got repetitive videos of today Mr. MB3 did a video showing the same exact thing tree falls over on a car driving by flat root bottom typically the root is supposed to be as big into the ground as the branches are out of the ground and there's a tap root one that's bigger than all the others and goes deeper than all the others as an anchor it's like that big around on all of them then they got the little fingers that point in all the directions collecting water and nutrients that one in the middle is an anchor and they have recoiled their tap root there's more electricity in the ground coming up they don't want this shit to happen to them so they recoil their tap root like a lizard detaching its tail if you grab it by the tail it has the ability to let go of its tail the trees are letting go of their tap root the anchor and they've just got a flush bottom they've pulled all their roots up out of the ground so far that it just takes a wind they tip over and you'll see a flat bottom no roots no giant root ball hardly any it's like flush because survival of the fittest these days amongst the trees means he with the most shallow roots collects the least of this high intensity ground energy that I've shown before on graphs where a fluctuation in the magnetic field creates a surge of ground current. Skywatch Media gave us this video and I've referenced it many times. Fluctuation in the magnetic field like plucking the string of a guitar or a rubber band creates a current of uh, electricity going through the ground. Just like your magnet spinning around on your alternator creates a surge of electricity that goes to your battery. That magnet fluctuating creates a surge of electricity that goes to our ground. It works like pretty much the same way. The magnet and the copper for the conductor. That ground current is at an ambient higher volume than it's ever been as the magnetic field weakens. That general all-time ambient background electricity increases and then it has these spikes and the spikes result in the burning but the rest of the time they're still collecting that electricity even when there's not a spike that creates a fire and even if they don't show signs of the burning externally like we saw on that one tree but you don't see on any of the others around here yet there's lots and lots of them that are dead like that one busted up from the inside and all flopped over and there's a bunch of them like that isolated plasma burn just this post that you can see has the barbed wire wrapped to it oh. and is turned to charcoal there's a couple other pieces right back here that also have some charcoaling on them But it's just one stick in the middle of all this other otherwise unburned area right here by the river yeah. pretty interesting example